What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about a tweet that Bungie put out not long after the new raid Salvation's Edge in the final shape was beaten. Of course, that opens up the last kind of a bit of the story. If you have not played that yet, of course, I'm not going to spoil that for you. But I was really surprised, and I think a lot of people in the community were surprised as well, to see this tweet from one of the lead designers from uh, Bungie saying they're not done yet. It says, it all begins with a single step. Join us on June the 10th at 8 a.m. Pacific to learn more about the next year of Destiny 2. And it's kind of called The Journey Ahead. And I'm sure that kind of has a double meaning, maybe the journey ahead in game. Of course, we're going to have some different you know, things through the episodes that we're going to be able to do but there's also a lot of speculation about what that means considering it's the next year of the game no one really knows if we're going to have you know a big story expansion next year that's not really been discussed the final shape was kind of supposed to be the end all be all you know kind of of the game and a lot of people speculate that destiny 3 will be announced at some point some people are even speculating that destiny 3 may be hinted at or teased during this uh, you know, kind of stream of them talking about what's going on in the game for the next year. And that could definitely be the case. I think um, that that's definitely a, a reasonable thought a lot of people are having talking about another Destiny game. And if that is the case, I think a lot of people will be happy about that. I think some are kind of worried. I've seen a lot of people's comments saying they really don't want to start over, lose all their stuff. And I understand that. But I think if Bungie handles it correctly, if even if you start back, fresh in a new game the way they have decided not to sunset things anymore makes me think hopefully in destiny 3 all the things you have now may just carry over to another game and i think another thing that would help out a lot with another game would be the issue of having such large downloads i mean you look at the size of the files even on ps5 on new gen consoles alone and pc uh, I think that would help out a lot with you know not not having to sunset content. They've already talked about that before. It makes the game file so large. Now I know a lot of people have discussed getting rid of support for uh, old gen consoles, and I kind of do agree with that. I think we're kind of to that stage right now in gaming where you know we, we've gotten into the life cycle enough of the PS5, actually a little bit longer uh, than I you know kind of imagined. I, I, I would have assumed that the Xbox Series X and the PS5 would have games made just for it probably about two or three years in. But, of course, with all of the issues of shortages of consoles, I think that kind of slowed that down. But I think we've gotten to the point where they could decide to just support new-gen consoles and PC, and that would probably free up a lot of space and a lot of different things they could do with this game, size-wise and, of course, uh, production-wise and you know, graphics, uh, frames, all that kind of stuff. But overall, I'm really interested to see what this kind of you know is going to hold what what they're going to talk about in this you know kind of update and this will be live of course on their youtube channel over at bungie uh for destiny 2 um but I'm, I'm really curious to see what all is hinted here i'm sure we're going to get a lot of info about the episodes because we do know the episodes are starting this coming week uh it looks like we're going to have a new enemy eventually i'm kind of curious how they're going to tie all that into it and I know a lot of people are really going to be excited for what's going forward. But as we all know, if you have finished the final shape, that's going to be a hard thing to follow up. I mean, Bungie can definitely deliver, and I think they're going to. And I think that's why they're kind of just staying on, you know, this this train of you know all the excitement, the hype train pretty much is what you would say for a lot of people because there's so many people talking about this right now, how great the raid was, how great the story was. There's a lot of talk about Destiny right now, more than there has been for a good long while. And I think they decided to go ahead and just say, hey, you know, let's go ahead and talk about the journey ahead to keep everyone's interest in the game. And I think the next year will be very good for this game if they even can touch what they did with the final shape with some of the stuff they're going to do in the next year with these episodes. I think the game will do very, very well. And I'm really excited to see what kind of the journey ahead is going to be for Destiny. Will it be another game? Will it continue with Destiny 2? There's a lot of different routes they could take. And, you know, either way, if they decide to make a new game or decide to keep going with uh, Destiny 2, I'm fine with either one of those. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. I just thought it was very interesting. Uh, and, and, you know, like something is like they already had it planned, of course. You know, as soon as someone beats the raid, as soon as, you know, we get that final mission out there after the raid is beaten, um, they want to go out, go out and go ahead and tweet this out while everyone's still excited and keep this fresh in their mind that there's going to be some more info about what's going to happen 
in the next year coming very soon. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.